In this video, we're going to be looking at a verbal reasoning question type called categories. Some of this material has been taken from Verbal Reasoning Book 1, which can be found linked in the video description, alongside a free PDF with 20 questions for you to practice after this video. In these verbal reasoning questions, you get given five groups and a list of words, and it's your job to figure out which group each of those words belongs to. So let's look at our first example. We have five groups of words, A, B, C, D, and E. And we've got to find a connection between each of these words within the group to figure out what that group is representing. So if we look at group A, we have carrot, broccoli, and potato. And they're all types of vegetable. In group B, sheep, pig, and goat. So these are going to be farm animals. C, we have green, blue, and purple, which is obviously colours. D, we've got May, October, and February. These are all types of months of the year. And E, we have jeans, dress, and socks, which are all items of clothing. Now we've got five quick examples here to go through. Um, it should be fairly straightforward. Rabbit, we're going to say that belongs to group B. Yellow is a colour, so that's going to belong to group C. Turnip is a type of vegetable, so that'll be group A. T-shirt is E, an item of clothing. And June is obviously a month, so that's going to belong to group D. So as you can see from this example, this particular question type again relies heavily on your vocabulary and your general knowledge. Let's try a few more examples. We have five categories here, A, B, C, D and E. And the first one, we have darts, chess, and football. So can we see how they relate to each other? They are all sports. In category B, we have phone, television, and computer. And they are all types of devices. Group C might throw some people off. Let's take a look at what's in there. We have thyme, rosemary, and sage. These are all types of herbs which get used in cooking. Group D is a little bit easier. So we have coffee, juice, and water. They're obviously all types of drink. And the last one, again, is fairly straightforward. I think pen's a bit of a giveaway. Pen, ruler, and compass. They're all types of stationery. Now that we've identified the categories of each of these groups, we can look at our questions. We have six example questions up here. And we're just going to write A, B, C, D, or E. So number one, we have rugby. Now, is rugby a type of sport? Is it a device? Is it a herb? Is it a drink? Or is it stationary? So, fairly obviously, we can say that. That rugby is a sport. Question two. Again, fairly straightforward. T. Um, I don't think that could belong to anything apart from D, the drinks category. Number three, radio. Radio is a type of device. So that's going to be B. Now, four might throw you off. Again, you need general knowledge for this. And we have the word chive. Chive is, again, a type of herb, which gets used in cooking, so that's going to be C. Number five, protractor. Now, if you've done angles in school so far, you should know that protractor is used to measure angles, and that would be E. And the last one is oregano. And again, that relies heavily on your general knowledge. That is a type of herb. Category C. Let's try one more set with different categories. In A, we have Atlantic, Pacific, and Arctic. Now, from your general knowledge, you should know these are all types of ocean. Category B, we've got owl, emu, and crow. Now, you might not know what an emu is, but you should be able to tell the category by knowing what an owl is and knowing what a crow is. They are types of bird. C, you've got New York, Paris, and Tokyo. These are all capital cities. So I'm just going to write cities under that one. Category D, we've got fly, which could mean the insect, or it could mean the verb to fly. But we can see we've got bee and moth there as well. These are all six-legged creatures. They're all insects. And lastly, we've got beech, birch, and oak. So beech, birch, and oak are all types of tree, but they're also types of wood. Now, I, we're not going to know what goes with them until we look at our question type. So for now, I'm going to write trees slash wood and we'll see what our questions have question number one we have helsinki 
Now, again, your general knowledge should tell you that is the capital of Finland. So that's going to be category C, it's a city. Number two, you have Indian. Now this could be the ocean, it could be a person, it could be a type of food, but if we look at the categories that we have, it can only fit into ocean. It can't fit into birds, cities, insects, or trees. Number three, we have kingfisher. Again, very general knowledge based. We can say, we can safely say it's not an ocean. We can say it's probably not a type of tree. You should probably know that the kingfisher is a type of bird, and that's going to be category B. Number four is mahogany. Now that is a type of dark wood, but it's not a type of tree. So I think we can safely say that category E is woods and not trees. Two more to go. Number five, we have beetle. A beetle is an insect. And lastly, we have ash. Now, ash is a type of wood, and it clearly can't fit into categories A, B, C, or D. So we're going to put that down as category E, types of wood. So as you can see from this question type, it again relies very heavily on general knowledge, vocabulary, and a good word bank. I hope you found that useful. Don't forget there are 20 more questions included in the free PDF, which you can access via the link in the description, alongside the link for our verbal reasoning books. To watch another verbal reasoning video, click on one of these boxes over here. We'll see you over there. And don't forget to like and subscribe.